Hi there, everybody. Just got out of seeing the new Power Rangers movie. Um, what can I say about it? It 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 was better than I thought it was going to be. I didn't do an expectations video in this one because I didn't really have expectations for this film. It was I I was aware of the series growing up as a kid. I watched a few episodes, but I, it never really caught my attention fully. Um, so therefore, I couldn't really say like going in like oh massive fan. I can't wait to see this. I generally didn't know. I knew bits and pieces. I knew about Zordon. I know about Rita Repulsa. I knew, I knew what I needed to know going into this film. And it was... Um, my expectation was I just thought this was going to be like a Michael Bay Transformers movie. And I'm really surprised to say I didn't... Uh, it, it's not like that. Um, and I thought I was going to hate it. Actually. I kind of enjoyed it, actually. it's I, I, did, I wouldn't say I love it. I said I like it. It's got flaws in it. I mean, the... Um, Start us off, we'll start with the flaws. Um, going in, I thought Elizabeth Banks would actually be a good villain. She was, she just felt like she was in a different movie to the rest of the of everyone else in this movie. Uh, the CGI wasn't terrible, it's good, but it, it you could definitely tell they had a lower budget than, let's say, a Beauty and the Beast or something like that. But you, you can definitely see that. And, and hopefully, this movie will be a success because I can guarantee you, if it is a success, we're going to see more, more and more sequels, and then hopefully their budgets will go up. So therefore, they can fix on that front. I think a few more practical effects would have been better, would have helped this movie a lot because there was elements, especially with the suits. Um, a lot of the times you can definitely tell they were in full CGI suits, and it just, it it, it just didn't look right. And the movie, um. The movie itself has sort of two tones to it. Like, for the first hour, it's like... It feels a bit like Chronicle for the first hour. I mean, not a found footage film, but that sort of gritty te a gritty teenage superhero film. And I thought, that, ooh, okay. This is different from the campy sort of TV series. And I was really enjoying that bit. And when it comes into all the action, um, it feels more of a forced transition tone rather than what is natural. But um, having said all that, there is still quite a bit of fun to have with this movie. Um, I mean, Brian Cranston's good. He's actually quite good in it. Um, I'm not saying that I'm surprised with Brian Cranston, but I just generally thought Brian Cranston in Power Rangers movie. He's just doing it for a pay. He would have been just doing it for a paycheck. No, he's actually quite good in it. The the leads was actually quite good. You have the sense there was actual real chemistry between our four, um, our five leads. Sorry, and they said four. It's five leads, but they're um. I mean, some of them felt underdeveloped compared to the, some of the others to put focus on, but that's not a problem because you sense that they, when they got together as a team, you felt they were a team. There was chemistry really there. They gave more in depth to the characters, and when it came, uh, I said when it comes to the action, the tone shift, it felt not false, not true. The action and everything and that, it's still really, really fun. There's a whole montage in it when they're actually finding, you know, when they're getting rid of all, getting used to their powers. It's really, really fun, and they don't morph really um, until the last sort of half an hour into the film before before the big fight. I actually quite liked that because then it felt it felt more of a of a moment when they did it, and they, it was trying to learn how to morph. And I, I, you know, I quite enjoyed all that bit. Um, the script has issues. There's a lot of clunky dialogue in there. Um, you can definitely tell when Elizabeth Banks is having to say a lot of her dialogue. It just feels ooh. Maybe the script could have done with um, with another pass through with another writer or something, just just crushing and clean things up. But I know it sounds like I'm being really negative on the movie. It's actually quite a lot of fun. Um, there's a lot to be enjoyed about it. It it has a sense of a feel like this is a reboot because of uh, the success of Transformers. It's not Transformers. It's way more fun than Transformers is to watch. Uh, there's nothing offensive about it. It's it's not boring. It's it is entertaining. I do have a sense. I feel as though the more adult you are, the less entertained you're going to be. With it. I think for fans, there's going to be a, mo a lot more nostalgia factor towards it as well. And actually, um, you can tell even though I'm not a fan, they handled the overall property of it very well because they were they were very aware that a lot of fans, you know, even at my age, they will still go and check out just in case. But no, it, it it's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. Um, I hope it leads as well at the box office because it's there's room for improvement, but. If they're going along this right track, the, it's it's a harmless sort of franchise, and I would be excited to see a second one because it I did I did enjoy this one. It was, it was it was rather fun. It um, but it's it's hard to be um, it's it. I said it's it's weird. It sort of took me by surprise because it was 
tonally it was quite di a lot different to what I was expecting. A lot of that first act is more like, I don't know, remember a few years ago when that fan film came out that caused a lot of controversy uh, because of copyright issues and things, and a lot of the tone felt like that, and I felt as though the filmmakers uh, paid attention to that and actually went, oh, this people have responded well to this, we might need to take a bit of a tone with this. But no, it, it, I think it's rather enjoyable, um, take kids to go and see it, go and see it, and it, it is worth seeing on the big screen because it's, you know, there's got a lot of that hefty action to it. The four leads are really good. Um, Elizabeth Banks probably need, felt like she was in a different movie compared to the rest of them. Um, and it would have been like, sh someone should have gone, uh, actually. She felt like she um, disrespected a bit of the director of what he was wanting compared to where she felt she'd go. And there was, you could tell, I don't think she would be back for the sequel, but. I think Brian Cranston would be uh, Bill Hader's as good as the I can't remember the the name of the draw he did in my head because he made very little impact and actually I'm happy that because I was worried when when I was going into it that um, when you first meet him that actually he's going to become really really annoying and he's going to be the forced comedy no completely downplay him and actually in a way if you if you come out forgetting about him it's actually either all right it, it it sort of means yeah that's it's a sort of a positive in a way but no really really good for, it's really really good fun. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell my tone of voice, but no, it is really, really good fun. It's it, but it has got a lot of flaws in this. If I was to give this movie out five stars, I would give it about a f uh, two and a half to three. A lot of room for improvement, but it's uh, it definitely it's definitely you know enjoyable, especially if you're a fan of the franchise or if you just want a good entertainment, switch your mind off film. It's perfect for that. So uh, that's my review of the uh, Power Rangers reboot movie. Uh, please, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Comment below. If you've seen the movie, comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. No spoilers down there, obviously. And um, saying if you like what you see here, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.